All right, Air Viper Canyon Wilderness. We are at the West Trailhead, and we are gonna cruise east along the canyon, and we're gonna try and make it over to Vergas or Horse Camp Canyon at least today for our camping, uh, and then tomorrow we'll go explore hopefully all the way over to Deer Creek, because I'd really like to get over to Deer Creek and Hellhole Canyon. So, this is the uh, canyon we're hiking, end to end. It's gonna be a lot of water walking. It's what, like 33 degrees right now? Got my water shoes on with some neoprene socks. <laughs> wet and cold AF. Yeah, I bet it's gonna be wet and cold AF today as well. So, uh, we're gonna get our bags on and uh, yeah, we're gonna go get wet. It just snowed yesterday for the first time in two years in Tucson. Um, yeah, this is gonna be cold and wet AF for sure. What? We got, uh, India's gonna come with us today for the first like mile or two. Uh, it's super pretty here. Super pretty red rocks, mesas all around us, saguaros. And we're gonna head, I guess down that way somewhere. All right, so we made it down into the canyon. When we're in the shade, it is really cold. But it's a beautiful day. The sun's coming up over the ridge behind me. So soon we'll be in more sun than we know what to do with. It's supposed to warm up to about 56, 58 today. We already saw some javelina, some cardinals, some cows were on the road on the way in. Um, we're right alongside the water. Water's right there to my right. Six miles to uh, camp, ish. I think it's on the other side of that. All right, so we've done like three or four water crossings now. The neoprene socks are working great. Feet aren't cold. I think they're a little wet, but they're doing they're doing just fine. Picking our way through the trail. It's not really marked, um, which you know is what we were expecting. Just kind of follow the water, I guess. So we're on private land right now for the first mile or so, and then we end up in the wilderness area, which is the BLM public land that we got permits for. So you can't camp or do campfires or any of that stuff here in this first little bit until we get into the canyon proper. That's where we're headed, down to Sleepy Hollow over here. How's your feet? Feet are good? Soggy noodle down there. <laughs> Soggy noodle feet. So we're getting close to the two mile mark and this trail just gets prettier and prettier as we go. Super pretty. Uh, we're in like the actual wilderness now. We're out of the private property. Super awesome. Year round perennial water source. But the trail Looks like people have made an effort over the years to avoid the water. Every now and then we come up away from it, and then we'll come back down. But... All right, we are definitely like in the slotted canyon now. We got rocks, we got rocks on both sides of us now. We gotta keep crossing through the water here.
This is awesome. Awesome! Super love this hike. We are in the water. So India turned around, it's been like two and a half hours of hiking, sun's out, there was a couple nice spots to kind of sit and eat lunch, so she's trekking back two and a half hours to the car by herself, she's going to stop and have a snack on the way. Um, me and Jeremy are going to continue on, onward to the east side of the canyon. Keep seeing stuff like this, which is from flash floods. So yeah, the flash floods go all the way up there. Than I can reach with a trekking pole. And I'm five foot seven. So that's, uh, yeah, it's up there. So, yeah, you hear a train coming. Gotta start climbing that. All right, so we have made camp. Um, and we ended up right across from something called Booger Canyon. Great name for a canyon. We're on what would be considered the east side. Not that that means anything to you guys, but we'd be on the east side of the canyon. So we trekked over that side. Tomorrow we're gonna try and get over to Deer Creek Canyon, which gets like gets like narrow, and you kinda gotta work your way through the narrow, so that's supposed to be real cool. Yeah, uh, we're right here next to the stream. There's Jeremy's tent. We came in off like sort of right here. Stream heads that way. That's west where the truck is. So there's uh, there's Jeremy. There's me over there. Got the flags flying. Uh, this is going to be our fire pit for the evening. We strung up a rope there. Um, and that's going to be uh, where we hang our food for the night. So the rope comes down to that tree for control. And the campsite's way over there. Sun setting, super pretty night. It's getting cool, so I'm gonna go help Jeremy get some firewood. We got sun on the canyon across the way. This is home for the next two nights. Oh yeah! All right, I'm gonna go get some firewood, be useful. <clears throat> All right, started day two. Last night we made it from here. There. And today we're gonna go all the way over to here. But to get there, it's a couple hours, maybe an hour and a half, who knows. Packs are really light, we're not bringing all the backpack and stuff. We're gonna keep camp here. Um, doing the Mr. Rogers change of my shoes on video. Yep. <laughs> Hello, it's neighbor. It's a neighborly day. <laughs> it's a neighborly day. <laughs> so we're getting our wet clothes on, getting our bags prepped. We'll head on down to Deer Creek, so uh, we might. Oh, I got back in. Uh, we might go all the way over to the East Trailhead today, since we probably won't move camp. Um, we were hoping we'd have the morning sun here, uh, but I don't think you're getting the morning sun anywhere. It's completely overcast today. Pretty decent breeze, so that's nice. But yeah, uh, excited not to have the heavy backpack. Although yesterday wasn't bad because we didn't really have any elevation gain. Had a pretty good night last night. We got a fire going. Had a full moon last night, wasn't expecting that. So like right after dinner, it got really dark and we had to get our headlamps out. And then all of a sudden it got really bright and we could put our headlamps away and then it was bright all night. I had to put my buff over my eyes just to go to sleep last night. It was so bright in my tent. It was like having a glow lamp in there or something. We're gonna go get wet.
So behind me is like this huge gate. It's like a wall, like a fortress wall. And there's like stuff behind it. Like you go live on the other side of that rock wall. It's like a hidden hidden kingdom. Maybe there's dinosaurs in there. You think? Or like a whole little tribe of people that live in there. Not a tribe of little people, but like a little tribe of people. Small, small in number, not in stature. And who knew that saguaros could coexist in like the same habitat as these giant trees? I've never seen giant, giant trees and saguaros in the same place. So we just split off the main era of Ipa Creek and we are entering Deer Canyon. We filled up our water before we came in. So we're like here in this giant open space. That's awesome. And we just switched into our dry shoes, left our wet shoes here on the rocks to dry. We didn't need to carry them with us. So we are gonna head into the, uh, the Narrows, as it were. So we just found this huge hole in the ground and it looks like there's another sky in the hole. So I don't know what to do about that. Look how tiny you are. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> In the land of dinosaurs. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Creature of the Black Lagoon. All right, let's see how deep this sucker is. R race it, go. Yo, that's deep. <laughs> Yo. You, you doing a skip? All right, go ahead. I think I got it on film. Oh, you almost made it. Have a look at my nose. 2.6 into Deer Canyon, also called Hell's Hole. So I'm pretty sure that water back there is actually the Hell Hole. Maybe there's a critter that lives in there and gets to feast on wayward passengers who go for a nice cool dip on a summer day. We survived. So how do you get water if you're a plant stuck on the edge of a cliff? You grow a gangster beard. 
all the way down to the water. Yeah, it's like all the way there. All right, so I think this is the end of our hike today. Me and Jeremy found water coming right out of the desert wall. It comes out right there, flows down into this hole, into that hole, and eventually out into the waterfall at the bottom. All right, we got five miles, so we did what, 5.2 for the day? And we gotta get back to camp, so we'll end up doing 10 and a half today, so. They don't seem to mind us at all. So we hiked back to our campsite, hung out with some deer, made some friends. And then we decided to go check out Booger Canyon, which is like right across the creek from us. And uh, after a little scrambling, found this, which is super deep. Hells yeah, that's deep as hell. Look at that. Is there another pool over there? It's like if you come up here and there's a couple hanging out in this one, you go hang out in that one with your girl. Yeah, so you know, it's a couple's place. This is Booker Canyon. If you leave the first pool, you get the second pool. There's like a third skinny pool. But then you hit the lagoon. This is for the big groups. At the waterfall, you got the green grass. There's definitely more to come. So you can see someone was trying to use this lever system to get this big rock here to tumble way down there. Guess they just gave up. Here, give it a pull. No. Next time. Yeah, we'll get it next time. Morning day three here of Viper Canyon Wilderness. We just broke down camp. Everything's in the bags. I think we got like seven miles till we get out of here. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so we're gonna book it. It's 9.30. Broke camp a little late, but that's fine. It was a nice, relaxing morning. Took care of some wilderness business. Um, that's where our fire pit was. We broke it down. Made sure all the coals were cool last night before we went to bed, and then broke it down this morning, and uh, leave no trace, you know what I'm saying? Pack up, pack out, get the hell out of here. So we're just cruising down the trail on the way out and all of a sudden we notice these trees are all broken halfway up and laying across the water, like right there. Spaceship, it's the only explanation. Craft spaceship.
tough life on the trail. Not everybody makes it. I did get a text from India on my uh, Garmin GPS. The first night I had her text me when she got home, she said she saw four javelina. And uh, neither Jeremy or I recall her saying how many she left alive, so. Pretty brutal. So, we just got three and a half hours, seven and a half miles, and we're about 10 minutes from the truck, I think. But yeah, so seven and a half today, seven and a half the first day. So that's 15. And then we did 11 yesterday. So I'm gonna carry the three, divide by Y. So 26 miles total. That's about what we did our last trip. Yeah. And our first trip. So that seems to be our number, somewhere between 25 and 30. That's like our, that's the golden rule for us, I guess. 26, 27 miles. Uh, we did have a ton of water crossings today, so, so it's probably like a water crossing every tenth of the mile if you average it out. 60 something water crossings in seven miles. Got the right footwear for sure. I'll tell you, the whatever brand these are, pretty serious soles, water shoes, neoprene socks, highly recommended. A pair of dry shoes for camp and for checking out the canyon, side canyons. Wonderful, wonderful footwear. I think the whole thing was $45, $15 for this, and $30 for that. Totally worth it. So yeah, Jeremy just saw this, which is probably India's walking stick. Oh yeah, she stood this thing up. We'll stand it back up for her. There you go. Put it back up for you, babe. Guess we'll sign off here, hit the truck, go find a place to grab a beer, head home. Air Viper Canyon. Whoop, whoop, whoop.